So up next, we're going to be visiting Tehran's Avkina Museum. Considered one of the most interesting and exquisite buildings in Tehran, it was actually once the residence of Iran's prime minister. This residence was later refurbished in 1976 by an Austrian architect who converted the building into a museum, which now houses Iran's history of pottery and glassware. The museum is home to a vast collection of glassworks and ceramics that date back as far as the first and second millennium BC and extend up to the modern eras. Visitors of the museum are also taught everything about the evolution and history of pottery and glassware and the techniques that go all the way into their production. So please enjoy as we take you to Tehran's Abkine Museum. <laughs> With its long history and ancient civilization, Iran has a lot to tell about its glorious past. The Abgina Museum will provide you with a rare and fascinating glimpse into the history of glassware and pottery in Iran. It's a strange yet amazing experience, walking back in time and observing parts of a country's ancient civilization. You kind of feel humbled as you witness centuries of art and its glory. This building was built over 90 years ago for the personal lodging of Ahmad Qawam, Iran's prime minister of the time. The museum opened in 1980 and was registered in the list of national heritage in 1998. Pottery is one of the most ancient crafts on the planet. For historians, it can provide an insight into a culture's life, religion, and the way that culture perceives the world. The art of pottery in Iran dates back to the dawn of civilization. In this museum, you get the chance to see this unique art form as it develops throughout the centuries. The oldest pottery works in this collection date back to the first and second millennium BC. As time went on, outstanding changes began to take place. In this museum, we have seven rooms. In the first floor, we have three, and in this floor, we have four rooms. From 1976 to 1978, Hans Hollein designed all the showcases. The object has chronological order. During the Islamic civilization, Masters of clay works who were inspired by the Holy Quran created masterpieces in Kufi manuscripts. Clay works began bearing motifs and inscriptions such as epic poems and miniatures. I was very impressed by the building itself, which is very fine, the architecture. This museum is really, uh, really one of the finest and greatest I have ever seen. I took many pictures. It's a small and very, very delicate building. You, you come into the building and you have the impression that you come into something very precious. Mm -hmm. The light was passing through some of these items. Mm -hmm. And uh, I also very much enjoyed the, the way the items are presented. I come from Greece. It's my first time in Iran. <music> from different countries. We have tourists from United States and also we have tourists from Europe. Natural glass has existed since the creation of the Earth. The earliest man-made glass objects in Iran, however, date back to the first millennium BC.
The collection also includes glassworks that belong to the Achaemenid time, as well as glass objects that were made in the Sasanid in the early Islamic period. One of the most attractive displays in the museum is perhaps the tiny perfume bottles that were made in the second and first millennium BC. I've come from Australia and this museum was on my list of things to do while I was in Iran and so I was particularly impressed when I walked up to see this beautiful building that it's housed in and as I've been walking around I've been really impressed by the way the articles are displayed, the glassware with the light to show its true beauty because glassware can be very delicate and hard to see the detail of it somehow. And it's just spaced out lovely and I particularly like the box in there with all the little um, pieces that, that was quite nicely done and it's just a, a really calm, beautiful place to look at beautiful artwork. Obgina Museum is one of those places that surely deserves a visit. After all, history is not just written in books. Hoda Lezgi for Iran.